first off, man, I just want to say, can everybody hear me? I know, um, I know, um, y'all know I gotta ask that question before, um, I proceed. Shirt wrinkly. I just grab that move out the, um, clean clothes, man. So excuse my shirt, man, it can fall a little wrinkly. Um, can everybody hear me? I'm not saying no, yeah, we can hear you. <laughs> I'm reading everything else, but uh, yeah, y'all can hear me, man. Okay. They so said they can hear me, all right, we in there, we in there, y'all. Um, so, you know, I, first of all, I want to apologize. I know I've been, I've been having a lot, man, on my plate, man, this Ramadan, and, you know, this at this time of the year. Um, so it'd be hard for me to um, do, you feel me, consistent story times for whatever reason. So, but I'm back today with another one. Today we're going to speak on... One of my long, long, long time friends, man. Tay Savage, um, big, like a big brother to me, man. Um, one of the guys I looked up to in the street shit, of course. Um, um, you know, y'all always asking me about Tay Savage and did I know him and is he really like what we heard and, you know, this and that. So, Today I really came through to, you know, speak on them and, you know, get y'all the real and the insight of what's going on. Cause like I know y'all fascinated with him, like y'all kind of fascinated with Melly, Vaughn, and you know, I, that's my homie too. So I can speak to him and get y'all the real on tape. Um, first off, you know. Tay, we gonna start from the beginning, man. It's Tay, he got friends, his circle consists of one of my big cousins, which is like his right hand man, which is, um, and the other homie was Welch. Three peas in a pod, now don't get me wrong. Also, Dot, Ryan, Twin, all of them, you know what I'm saying? But we just speaking in a, like, like me, in LA and him thing. We had other homies that was close to us too, like Matt and Luddy and C Day and Rondo. But we was three peas in a pod, you know what I'm saying? Let's just have some groups work. So before some of the guys here and try to think I'm discrediting them, like Dot and them, nah, bro, I already know all y'all locked in was close, but I'm just saying it at this point. So, you know, it's the three best friends, Tay Man, Welch, which was my big cousin, man. So, you know, me growing up, I always been, rather it was in the projects or, you know, rather it was just coming up, period. Wherever they moved, I always ended up somewhere at my cousin's house with my auntie, well, not with her, but at her crib, somewhere huddled up under them. Even though I was a little too young to be with them or be, on what they was on, I was always around, you know what I'm saying? So, you know, coming up, you know, being under my big cousin so much, you know, you meet his friends and you 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 see them a lot, you know what I'm saying? They know you, they start treating you like little cuz. That's what happened with Tay and, 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 and Welch, you know what I'm saying? Like, I used to come be at my cousin crib, man, leave a motherfucker hungry, they feed a nigga, or they making sure I got a sandwich, or they making sure nigga make noodles of woo off the band, you know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, it turned into one of those type of things where they became like big brothers to me, you know what I'm saying? When I when I come around and I come over, you know what I'm saying? Cause I was young and you know me at first, you know, I'm, I'm, I'm young, but I'm crossing over. I'm kind of like in a weird space in my life where I'm young. I got my own circle of friends and we doing things too, but I'm kind of innocent in a way too, you know, 08, 09, shit like that, you know what I'm saying? So, Tay, 
he the loose crew out of these three. You know what I'm saying? He's the guy, he, he the most rambunctious one out of all of them. You know what I'm saying? So, growing up, I see all of them, but I noticed something about Tay. Tay was always a little more something with Tay. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it, was, it was something to do with Tay. So, I remember my first real introduction of any street shit, not on the like fighting level or even hurt hearing about shooting, but actually me seeing some with my own two eyes was like, Tay getting shot up. Like me actually being that close to folks, seeing the bullet wounds and seeing how messed up he was from his injuries, folks, that played a major role First of all, shout out to my people's BKNY. He always looking out. AJ King. Shout out to my boy now, man. And um, Fan Solo. Album coming soon, bro. But I remember Tay getting shot up and shit. And when Tay got shot up, I remember that shit fucking my head up because I'm looking at fools. Like, I'm watching them. It's, you know, crunch is bad. That's our whole little thing. And I'm just like, you know, even though, like, my homies got killed, like, a year later, at this point in time, I don't got no dead homies. You know what I'm saying? Like, even my homies that have been shot, I had seen it, like, get shot and all that type of shit. Nah, but that ain't happened yet. So, when I'm looking at Tay, you know, it was kind of one of those surreal moments. Like, okay, this is what this street shit got to offer. Because I'm crossing these, I'm about to cross over. I'm in my, it's 2010, I'm about to cross over to my own real life street shit, and, and it's like me watching Tate be fucked up, it's like this is me understanding and realizing that this is what the streets got to offer you and this is what can happen. So man, as I tell you, him and Tate, they like my homies, man. They like my homies. Big bros. Two days later, man. They kill Welch. Welch get killed two days later. So now, or a couple days later, right after the shit with, 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 with Tate, trying to, you know, like that shit that happened to his best friend, he wasn't trying to hit that. He went through that bitch on there with dude and them, man. And dude and them caught him coming back, killed folks. You feel me? So, I'm on some shit like, Damn, I just seen folks shot up. This big bro to me. Now, I see, I see Welch, he gone. Like, I talk about having my first dead homies and all that for in 2011, but really, if I'm being a whole hundred with you, my first dead homie got killed in 10, Welch. You know what I'm saying? Like, Welch got killed in 10, and then I felt that shit, bro. That's my big cousin, my father. My favorite big cousin who I looked up to and idolized, that's his, that's his best friend. I'm seeing these niggas every time I go see my cousin, folks. That shit hurt me. It tweaked me out, you feel me? Because, like, this is the introduction. You hear one day, you go on the next. You know what I'm saying? This is all what's in my mind. You know what I'm saying? So now, that happens. Tweak me out. I'm out here on my own in my own street shit. After that happened, um, it sparked off a lot of shit. Sparked off a lot of savage gangster shit in the streets. Folks wanna let that shit down. My cousin and they ain't letting that, they ain't letting that slide, bro. You know what I'm saying? To say the least, a lot of gangster shit happened. A lot of real street shit went on. So fast forward like a year later. You feel me? Fast forward like a year later. You feel me? Folks get locked up for some shit that happened on my block. On 59th and Cali, man, two niggas get shot up. They say Tay did it. Tay go get, get booked for a temp. They come to my cousin crib looking for folks on BD, looking for him on King David. So when they looking for folks, he get his little ego, turn himself in on King David. Now, when he turned himself in, he fighting that shit. He ended up beating that shit in 2012. He come home. Now, when he home this time, now nah, it's up there. You know what I'm saying? Like, he beat the attempts, you know what I'm saying? It's all that he doing his thing. He, he going crazy, you know what I'm saying? He out here in the streets, all the car crackers linking with him. All the other, all the gangsters want to be his homie. 
And this is one of the questions I get all the time. And they like, man, is, is, is Tay like Vaughn? Is Tay like Melly? Ooh, ooh. Is it really real and this and that? All the things I hear about him, is it true? I'm gonna tell y'all this. Imagine, before everybody get to all the goofy fans, I talked to folks before I did this, this live with y'all. Anything I'm speaking on is the things that he cool with me speaking on and we already hollered out previous to this to this live. But folks, if first of all, I know a lot of y'all don't want to hear this, man, and I always be a hundred about Melly, bro. But Melly, he did what he did out here. Won't take none of that from him. On the outside, he they biggest, he they biggest smoker. But he not on Tate and Vaughn level. He's just not, bro. He's not on their level. And before Vaughn grew up and did what he did out here, he wasn't on Tate level either. Tate be Tate, Tate, man, Tate, Tate was different when folks never imagined. These my homies. So I was right there when all of us jumped off the porch, bro. Tate was doing this shit before us. I ain't gonna lie, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was, he was who he was, he was how he was before we could get our feet wet in this shit. I won't lie to you, gang. Vaughn got to his level. Melly didn't get to day level. I ain't gonna lie to you. Shorty, them two niggas, they different niggas, bro. I ain't gonna lie, it's, you gotta, you gotta be head hunting for real to be like Shorty, man. So, now, imagine, because he also wanted me to mention this as well, Billy. Billy was around. He was an official at one point in time. He used to be with the shits. He just not no more. He wasn't. He did fluky shit. They moved folks around. I was there one day, folks. They did some shit. Folks come to my crib. Folks supposed to chat about this stuff they were saying, folks. On Billy, it was all type of shit being said about Billy, folks. Before they even eradicated him from Welchrail, just a lot of little fluky shit. But he was really Welchrail, though, for sure. He was an original member. He used to be like that. He used to be bugging up on niggas and shit. But he, he not no more. And if we be in the 100, folks, this is where it starts with me. You know, this is why when I was coming up, I used to, well, I was Welchrail 600. You feel me? They killed my big brother, folks. Um, this is where it started for me. Taking them raised me for real. I ain't gonna lie to you, folks. And when Billy did the shit he did, it made the conflict of interest between me and my family, folks. Take like family. Because now I got a beef with you, and you trying to beef with my hood under the Welch World Act. Like he like trying to go back and forth with my hood while he hanging with my ops, but he banging on the Welch World tip. So now niggas from my hood. Stepping out of bounds, diffs and welts world, doing all type of dumb shit that's causing confusion in my hood, man. That's causing confusion with me and my niggas folk and my cousins because my cousins and taking them ready to hurt niggas from my block and I'm stopping fooling them, folks and them, cousin them, blood and them from getting on that with niggas from my hood like Manny, Icky D, all the folk them that's running their mouth acting like they Want to beef with black, but they using Welch's name. They disrespecting Welch in the process. Well, I wasn't going for that. I used to get a two old folks name about dissing Welch on Lil Boo. And that shit, oh, what I clap on y'all ass about that. Oh, for them great. No cap. I ain't lying to you, gang. So, with Billy, just to insert that in, he, he was actually a member, but he did a bunch of shit that got itself eradicated. And on BD, the confusion started with my block and Welch's world because. He was front his move, dissing us, but he was claiming Welch for us still. Phone them thinking they dissing him, they saying the wrong nigga's name on phone them. Appreciate the, the donations, high body on game. But back to Tay. So now, you know, they come get Tay, he beat that shit. Ooh. So now, Tay out. <laughs> Tay out, he doing this one, two, all the car crackers with him. He sliding folks out here, three, four pipes by himself. He out here just, he, he him. I ain't gonna lie, like, he he is who he is, folks. On video, he riding around three, four thirties by himself with his homies, sliding, taking shit, taking niggas, 
treating savages like goofies, robbing niggas, fool, pistol whipping them out in broad day. He terrorizing the city. I ain't even gonna lie. He terrorizing the city. This 2012 on King Dave. He, he terrorizing the city. So now, me and folks start having issues. Me and folks start having some issues and shit. Now they started because of a situation that I'm really not even going to really get into too much, but it was just a situation over another person in my family, a female. It's a, it's a female in my family. So. Basically, a female in my family fuck with somebody else from Welcher, you know what I'm saying? So, but she used to fuck with Tay. You feel me? When they was younger, when she was innocent, they ain't know no better, they ain't had nothing to do. They ain't one they was supposed to be having the shit going on with each other. She was fucking with Tay. But when but when she came, when he came back out, she won, she was fucking with a nigga who was like his little bro. A nigga who he basically like, you know, he he turned him up in a way. So now, oh, King David, folks, she fucking with folks. So Tay, you know, like, he, it ain't that he couldn't take it. He just wasn't done with his bitch. You feel me? That's how I feel. He, he like, he ain't done with his bitch. He went to jail, came home. He had unfinished business with her. Now she fucking with folks. You know what I'm saying? So now, on King David, folks really ain't, he ain't liking that. On Biddy, he ain't liking that. So not to say he started putting shit in folks' head about my sister done. He just he he didn't want them together, gang. So it got time to a point where this shit became confusing amongst us all. So now I'm like getting to a point where I'm tired of this shit being talked about. I'm tired of this shit being discussed. I'm tired of hearing what I'm hearing. You know what I'm saying? Cause the respect level of what I'm hearing in my head ain't ain't ain't, ain't sound right. To me, you know me at this time, bro, like. I got all the respect in the world for say for Tay. But on King David fool, at this point, I'm me now. Like I ain't, I'm me, I'm Tay. I'm I'm uh, I'm two Ruger Tay. I'm I'm up in them rugas. I'm I'm sliding with Vaughn and 22 and 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 Troy and like I don't be I really ain't scared of nobody outside. I'm for them, even the niggas that I know gangster, been like that, big bro now. On King David fool. It's like, I can't be scared of no nigga, folks. So on B.D. Tay, Tay, Weddle, and another one of the guys, they come to my career one day while I'm on the block. Soon as they walk in the door on B.D., we arguing. Me and Tay, we going back and forth. The mother who we really arguing about, he was standing next to Tay, he really quiet on B.D. I'm telling him too, like, nigga, you, Letting folks come put shit in your head. Blah, 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 blah. This, then the third. I'm talking to Weddo. On BD. Weddo, like, kind of quiet on BD. He kind of quiet because Weddo know, like, it's a conflict of interest with Weddo, too, on BD, folks. Because Weddo, big bro, I'm getting to all my niggas about Weddo, too, folks. Like, I was a real 600 nigga, folks. But, like, niggas was not going to do shit to my brothers from Welter, bro. I was mad them you to come to the hood, see. See folks say a little shit when they they walk in or see them in the crib. Go back to leave it back on the block there. Say something on video. I treat the fuck out of them. Any nigga, whoever said anything about what on the phone, I mean, anything about Tay on Biddy, I'm getting on there. Anything about Welch, I'm getting on there. So he come to my crib one day on Biddy. He woof. He tweaking with me. We going back and forth. This man say, I right, bet don't worry about it. It's him. Folks at A-Rab, he said, he leave the crib, man, so I'm, this one I'm living on Indiana, I'm living on 61st Indiana in the courtway. Now, my cousin that I told you, his best friend, he get the whiff of all this shit, too. So now, for we end up going outside, right? This is what Tay used to do a lot, too, because it's like me and him bumping heads, but it's like none of never really happened to me, folks. But on BD, he one of them niggas, he gonna show you to stop playing with him and he gonna hurt somebody around you. So now, I come outside and shit, my cousin here, I bell in the car with him. 
Mind you, bro, I swear to God on my sons, he, man, I told you I live on the same block as while I stay in the middle of the block while I was on my corner. We pull off from in front of the courtway. We get to the corner. It was a light at the corner, right across from Walla. We get to the corner, man. We at Walla at the light at the red light, fool. Cop pull up on the side of us. It's Tay. But on BD, right before he just got to the light, we seen the car stop in front of my crib, in front of all the guys. For it was like four or five of the guys from Front Street standing out there in Booker, I think. Or look, the only reason folks ain't blow the folks them smooth off for cause he's seen to my other cousins right there too. Man, for he was about to do Michi so wrong, Michi in the wheel turned down from Front Street, he was out there, man. They was about to get murdered, folks. Just cause me and Tay having a disagreement, for on BD. Real shit. Like, folk, no, man, for like, for them pulling up, like, on oh, some real honest shit. Finna nail for them to the cross because I'm playing with him. Me and him having a disagreement on BD, for. So that was one instance of me and him, like, we, we, we tweaking with each other. This is one instance, but I got another story. Some mother said, this is, I think it's about the same situation, bro. My cousin come grab me. Now we go back to they shit. For we pull up, this nigga A Rab, for you know him and take cousins. A Rab get the flinching like he grab pipe. I'm bitty out. Oh, I fake take off. <laughs> oh, bitty, for like, I, 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 I take off. I ain't gonna lie. Oh, bitty, cause I'm like, bro, I'm not playing with no guns, folks. I'm bitty, I'm not playing. I'm bitty. And then my cousin got me over here. I don't got no pipe on me. He come grab me, make sure I don't got my pipe. But he, he, they got pipe. I don't know A Rab. This ain't even tape playing with me. Nah, nah, it's A Rab on video. He, fake he got my. Ooh, shit, I can make shaking it back to the car on video. Oh, I'm mad as hell though, cause now y'all playing me for real on video. I ain't on that for King okay, David. I ain't on none of that. For y'all over act like y'all up and pipe and all that. I ain't for none of that, folks. On video, I'm not. So, on video, I take off to the car, I ain't gonna lie, I was, I ducked my shit that time, cause oh, oh, I ain't playing for so some video, and I know how it is, like, motherfucker know me, they know you a blow, I know you a blow, like, I ain't playing with no niggas, for my homies dying, for them dying, I ain't playing with no niggas about shit to do no gun, yeah, I took off, fake ass, okay, man, RPA rap, man, rest in peace, big bro, Steve. A Rap was a good, cool ass nigga, real nigga too. I'm fucking real, get money, real. He took care of his family. But at this point in time, on BD, I ain't no A Rap like that. So on King Day, when he did that, I'm, oh, shake it. So now, that's a whole nother situation. This is this, this when Tay started playing mad games a little bit because he know, like, I, I know what they on. So, fast forward, folks. I see Tay. One day on the folly. Mind you, bro, this man Tay got tentacles all over the rack, man. I'm talking about he be, I'm talking about he, it was like, bro, what's so crazy is the hood he from. Four of them didn't fuck with everybody. Like a lot of niggas from Westford, they low end niggas. They barely, like, not on no scary shit, but they just in their domain, they low end niggas. Low end niggas, bro, stay on the low end. They don't like crossing past 51st. Really for shit, unless they live past 51st. All they dwellers, all they hoes for the most part, all they peoples, they stay down low on BD for like, or they be down low. Like low end motherfuckers look at the rest of the city like, we better than y'all low key. Like you, you gotta be from the low end. I'm from the low end on BD. I know how low end people think. Only because I was raised where I was raised do I act the way I act differently or like not act how I do about the low end. But on BDA, everybody that be on the low end for real, they don't be outside of the low end. For like, even if they in another hood, they in another hood, they fuck with from the low end. You know what I'm saying? So when Tay, Tay on some shit, boy, Tay, 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 he everywhere on King David. Like, like, Tay everywhere. On King David, he yeah, well. You 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 you, you could have pulled up on Dro City, he would have been there. You could have pulled up on O Block, he would have been there. You could have pulled up on a Folly, Lamron, like everybody at this point, dick riding Tay. You know what I'm saying? Like outside of certain niggas and shit, they dick riding folks on BD. 
They had just, it, I think this one, they had just, for them, just Rob Tato and everything on video, all that shit happened. Man, folks run around the city, everybody, everybody with them. Everybody want to be like Tay, want to be in this circle, want to have them in their contacts, folks. He everywhere. So now I see him on the folly. On video, I see him, he pull further down the block. I'm like, in the middle of the block, we all on laughing. He pull down. He, 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 he pull down and shit. He bell out the car, everybody running up to his car, talk to him. So now me, you know, I used to be on the folly. I had access to all they guns. I see them pull up. I grab one of they fifties. This one, they they just had started having fifties. Everybody, this fifty shit. Every nigga ain't had drums back then. Folly was one of the first hoods with drums on for them. He's flat. I grab, I grab, I grab drum. I'm not grabbing a drum with fuck, 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 fuck um tape. But I gotta, I got tape. Gotta know every time he see me, I'm ready for. He gotta know that for. Cause he had just right before this folk literally pulled up on my block. Literally, I'm standing on 60 one night, man. One day. It's earlier than the day. I'm just. Oh hey, I can't tell you what I was doing for, but I was loafing on BD. Like I I was loafing so hard on King David. When he pulled off, I was like. I had to go go to, I had to go on a crib on BD. I had to do, redo my whole day over when he did this to me, right? So now on King David, I'm standing on the like kinda on the corner, but not on the corner. You know what I'm saying? On BD just looking to the one, looking. I'm just looking at shit. You feel me? Whole time I'm spending all my time looking at shit this way, that way, over there. This man on, on my left side, literally sitting in the car, folk, in the driver's seat, looking at me with a beam pointed on me. For how, who, no, Lord knows how long he was right there before I turned and was like, man, I swear to God, boy, I'm going to look on King David. I see the beam on me. Folk got, I remember the green, like it was yesterday on BD, he put the green beam on me, on Fold and Grave, folk. Folks put a green beam on me, probably was sitting right there 30 seconds before I looked this way, folks, and on B. When he when I when I when I looked, he gave me one of them. <laughs> oh, I like I come believe did me like that, folk. Oh, BD fall like 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 he was Snoop Dogg on baby uh on 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 a motherfucker uh movie with, with with folk. Baby boy, he pulled up, dropped window. I just had a smirk, like, <laughs> like it wasn't even really no words being exchanged at that point. It's just like really, like you know what? You got me, folks. You, you you got me. Cause Tay always been one of them niggas. He like, bro, stop playing for I saw you. You feel me? Type shit. One day he showed me, like, this how easy it is on bro. Like, th that was when I learned, folks, that the ops. I really. Re benefit of being from what which side I'm from for because on B I don't feel like the ops used to do like I don't feel like I ever been a tour with no nigga like Tay. I don't feel like the ops ever produced a nigga like Tay, Vaughn, C Day, you feel me? Like some niggas Troy, like them niggas never produced niggas like that, bro. Like outside of Polly Melly, you know what I'm saying? And a couple more niggas, you know what I'm saying? It wasn't too many of niggas that was just like gonna pull up foot on you for real. Like you gotta watch for these niggas probably every day of your life while you in tour with them, folks. And I never been in tour with Tay, but on Biddy because I'm in the streets, I'm putting my work in, I'm thinking I'm big Tay, I'm I'm running around this bitch, niggas scared of me. And we putting belt on the ops. A nigga like Tay Savage. In the midst of me putting in all the work and doing what I'm doing, he, I was, he, I, I, I on BD, I learned that if a motherfucker really on that with me, on BD, that's how much I'm be loafing. On King David, I learned that he pulled up on me and he was right there on my block. Literally, I'm right there. I couldn't, I'm telling you, I couldn't have been no sweeter. If he was, I, I was dead. Like, and I never would have saw it coming because he was sitting right there watching me not look his way for however long on King David. Real life. Y'all always name dropping niggas. Little be just cause y'all hear about niggas with bodies or exposed to been like that, bro. It's calibers, man. 
Why y'all think I don't never insert myself in none of these conversations when I'm talking about Vine and or, or and Troy, bro? These like these niggas like these we we was the students, they was the teachers from that. Don't get me wrong. On King David, the students, us, we got busy and we put belt to ass and we we push it up there. I ain't gonna lie, we changed the school board, all that. We ain't no slouches or sweet niggas, but some niggas out here, bro, they just live for this shit, bro. This is what they wake up and do. This is what they wake up and think about. This is what's on their mind when they sitting there quiet in the corner and all y'all sitting there kicking and smoking weed and they just over there. Just ducked off in a in a head, boy. This is what they thinking about. This is them type of niggas, bro. That I'm talking about. Like, ain't too many niggas out here like them niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like when I tell you these niggas think about how to kill niggas, which way to, uh, to kill a nigga or smoke a nigga, and what way he could affect them fastest, and having to catch a nigga, and these the first niggas learned how to take apart guns and. Was real curious about these them type of niggas, bro. Just cause y'all mentioned niggas who spoke to smoke the nigga or spoke to did some gangster shit, bro. That don't mean these they them niggas, bro. Stop putting niggas in Tay and Vaughn categories, bro. They not them niggas, bro. On BD, they not them. They not them, folks. Stop putting niggas in their category, gang. Niggas ain't niggas ain't them. Y'all hate to hear me say that, for and y'all know I keep it a hundred about this shit, boy. Them niggas not that, boy. Them, them niggas that y'all talk about, they was like that, though. Won't take nothing from them. Put real work in, call some shit, change the, change the scope, boy, too. But they not Tay and Vaughn, bro. Tay, 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 man, Tay had niggas who was killing before he had, before he was born, bro. Shook, like... Oh yeah, we gotta watch short, you know, bro. Like, come on, man. Take take come from that shit, boy. Take daddy fucked up in the head. Don't be you gotta know his pops, nigga, on phone them. Like, y'all, y'all don't know this shit. This shit come this shit was inbred in Tay. I ain't gonna lie to you. So he called me loafing, introduced me to really, I ain't gonna lie, that shit made me a better gangster though. Like it's a lot of shit that Tay did. That when I look back on it, not saying that I was ever a tool for, but just that little time where I did have to be on my toes because of him, it just made me understand the streets more and, and how niggas that really, if they really looking for you, they'll get on that. It also made me understand the, the caliber of niggas you could deal with in the streets. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's niggas out here like a lot of the ops. And then this niggas out here like Tay, who ain't gonna play, they gonna put belt on you, man. On BD and make you tighten up. Like, you know what? Come on now. I stopped standing in what uh, in, in in open places where motherfuckers just ride and see me. Now when the motherfuckers ride up on my block, I'm probably in a cut. It might be four five of us in a cut, but I'm in a cut. I ain't trying to have my face out there because I'm BD for like it was that easy, for That easy. Just like the day we had the argument in my crib, he pulled up for then this nigga Tay, he's so crazy, right? One day he come to my crib, D Rose had just left. He come to my crib, him and my cousin, right? He looking for D Rose. You know, this one D Rose name, overly ring, and everybody acting like everybody that dropped in the city, he did it. You know, so Tay looked at it as one of those things where, you know, like, y'all see what he doing now? Family of savages. On Lubble, he been thinking about this for 10 years plus. 10 years plus on Lubble. He been trying to have that family of savages shit he's saying. He been trying to put a family of savages together for real, shorty. I ain't gonna lie. Because he came to my hood, nigga. When my hood wasn't fucking with his hood and was dissing certain niggas from his hood because they was in two of black, nigga, he pulled up to my crib, nigga, and was looking for D-Rose. He said, man, I'm BD. This man told me, he said, I ain't gonna lie. On Welch, I want him. I want Rose. Tell Rose, I said, hit my line, man. Tell Rose, I said, come fuck with me. On BD, he said he got pipe, everything D Rose want. On BD, whatever Rose want, he got it for him. He gonna put Drake in his hand. He gonna put Drake 
AIP, 30, whatever he want to, whatever Rose want on BD, he, he, he got it for Rose. And I'm just looking like, man, what on BD, you get the fuck on, boy, that Rose, our slider, he's sliding for us on King, baby, nigga. He ain't gonna be on the hill, no. He, I'm talking for Rose and shit on BD whole time. Rose, 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 Rose on BD, he would have, he, he, he probably would have rolled around with Takers. Rose like other gangsters too, folks. On Biddy Barrows like other gangsters too on King David, folks. This man come to my crib trying to recruit D Rose, folks. It's just like, I'm just like, damn, I want Biddy you. That shit mean that much to you, folks. Like, you don't got enough savages, enough guns, enough, enough this and that. You feel me? Like, you just, you just want, you just want more artillery, more savages in your circle, more demons. In your motherfucking uh, vicinity on BDE recruiting the gangsters. Oh, no, man. Get the fuck <laughs> He tried to bring folks home on BDE. He tried to bring him back to the dub club on BDE farm. I'm like, man, this nigga Tayful, he's stupid. He ain't got it all. He ain't got it all. He ain't on BDE for like this shit Tay do for. He one man army. Like, he got so many niggas in his. In his back pocket, but when he whoop, when he on, when he on, when he come, how he come, a lot of time he would ride, he and that bitch, more shots than people in the car can hold on BD, bro. Pull up on the side of him, he riding around in that infinity truck. On BD, he got three, four thirties, he in the chop in that bitch, and it's just him. That's how shorty, he, that's how he act, boy, on BD, I ain't gonna lie to you, folks. He was that type of nigga, folks. I remember me and him were just talking about this for when he back then the day when he first met Melly Po. When he first hollered at him and said one of the times they first started chopping it up for Melly telling him like, man, folk, I heard y'all doing y'all thing. I heard woo woo woo. Man, when I get off parole, I'ma fuck with you. Woo, woo, woo. We gon' we gon' woo woo. Man, he told his ass, man. Oh, oh well, I'm already on parole. He said, he said I'm, 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 I'm on parole right now. He said, I'm on parole right now. That shit don't mean shit. On the floor, like, he don't get no fuck about all that, boy, folks. Man, how his mind work, folk? Like, he a real bully, folk. On BD, he gonna bully niggas and he gonna get on that. He gonna tweak with niggas. He gonna do all that. Like, everything y'all heard, read, on BD. Folks want me to let y'all know. It shit ain't no facade on King David. I ain't gonna lie to you. I never put that out there on no nigga, folk. It's not a facade, boy. Like, y'all see, shorty Rocky out here, B2 murders. Didn't have to take a dub for armed hijacking the nigga, man. Took 20 years because he took a nigga out of his car. Took a nigga out of his car when the C.D. Huncho Peoples came and came and pointed him out. He said, folks said on BD, he said, folks nigga come and pointed him out on BD. He took him, took, take, take him right out of his shit, take him right out of his globe. King David, he really do this shit. I ain't gonna lie to you, folks. He, he really, he, he living like he, like he say he live, folks. Had to take a dub for that, but he be two bodies. That's why that lawyer he got, that's all the guys lawyers. On BD, that nigga Frank on BD, he on, we on, he, he, Tay, Tay, Tay made that nigga a lot of money and he gonna keep making money. He still beating shit, beating all, beating my cases on BD, beating wet old shit, getting for them time because it's served, all that. But he rocky them business for Tay first and on BD for seven, man, Tay beat two murders in less than a year, man. Then on BD beat the murders, folks. His homies get locked up for tampering with a witness on BD. This how hard niggas coming behind Tay, folks. The nigga that he took dude, he take dude, take dude out of his car. Dude, he get arrested for taking dude out of his car. He fighting an arm hijacking, man. The nigga who on uh, trying to get out on folks, man, folks that went trying to look for his ass. They weren't trying to get his ass boy on for them. They caught folks them tapping with a witness, folks on BD two more of the guys, folks. They had to take five years apiece. On top of that, folks.
Folk, they get booked. Why take right before take go to court for the shit? Right before take go to court for the armed hijacking, man, they get booked for tampering with the witness on the case, man. The lawyer tell them like, look, man, oh, you gotta you gotta take this rap. Cause once they find out your homie them booked for trying to tweak with them, it's gonna be ugly. Folk go in there and take the 20. That's why he just not coming home off the bed. He came home off on Biddy because he took the 20 for the iron hijacking, but he beat two murders. He beat Seth and Neek right up, beat him right up. <coughs> King David, folk. Like, Shorty, he really, he, he really, he really who he is. I ain't gonna lie to you, folk. He really, like, 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 he, he. He 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 is like who he is, bro. Like, he is who he is, man. Like I, I really can't even I undersell him or you know, like I know y'all all the time on the hill, like it's people who are who they say they are. And you know, I just wanna let y'all know, like he him, he definitely who he who he who y'all think he is. And he want me to let y'all know that. Like, this ain't nothing to me talking out of turn. Folks really him. I ain't gonna lie to you. He really him. <laughs> On that note, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't no facade. It's a lot of niggas out here that hyped up or get some type of extra credit for shit or get talked about it that they on this level when they really on this level. Take not one of them type of niggas, man. Whenever y'all feel like, stop putting certain niggas on his, in his caliber. Niggas not in his caliber, man. It's only one nigga out here who will more of us really be like, oh yeah, shorty on that, you know what I'm saying? And, that, and that's V-Roy. All these other niggas, man, they ain't dead. Shorty, shorty a different nigga, man. He different. You know what I'm saying? He, he, a lot of niggas kids to him. Don't be a lot of niggas got went on like goofies back him. A lot of niggas can't, Get on this level for real. You know what I'm saying? So, with that being said, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, I always try to, like, get y'all real about niggas because a lot of y'all don't know these niggas and y'all be listening to niggas talk about them that don't know them either. And me knowing Tate, for real, for real, he probably the first to ever do it as far as this generation. First to ever come how he came. He, 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 he really the first Vaughn. He just never did the rapping and all of that, you know what I'm saying? Like, but he he's the first, he's he he's the first to do it. A lot of niggas is reincarnated, or you know, like or niggas like, oh like this it tastes out for West right? This is how we come. On game. I don't know that. For them, like this shit, and Shorty, like he really stood on this well trail shit. Really stood on this little club shit on BD. Like you gotta get some niggas they 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 flowers and they they honor man on BD. He he earned their thing. He did time for this shit. Fought attempts, murders, um, hijackings, everything. Being who he is on BD. Some niggas just send what they is what they is. Like Vaughn, he said I am what I am, but I'm not. See, I never be. That's some niggas for. Fun, be on robbers, murder, all that. Some niggas, they just are who they are, bro. And Tay, like Vaughn, are who they are. Skinny said, hey Tay, I really only see you give credit to Duck Public from your side and say he was respected behind closed doors. Did the guys also respect Duck? Yeah, niggas respected Duck. You know what I'm saying? Nigga, a lot of people, if you smart, you would respect them. You know what I'm saying? There's nothing to not respect about him other than the side he chose to be at or hang from. Other than that, it was nothing not to respect about the I'm not gonna lie to you, man. But yeah, like you feel me? Like they 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 take take he he is who he is, man. Shout out to Bitcoin on the dog of the rat for sure. Like for real, like take he is who he is, bro. Like <laughs> you feel me? Take he is who he is, man. Like, he always been that. He got always been like that. I ain't gonna lie, I don't even take nothing from him, man. Like, Vaughn even loved him. On BD, like, y'all, y'all, like, y'all. Y'all, Vaughn and him had a relationship, like, they bonded through, through, through respect. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of niggas who they didn't respect, you know what I'm saying? Like, 
You know, Avon, you and you ain't no savage. You only got two bodies, like stupid, crazy shit like that. Like, how you gonna be mad at other killers because they don't got more than two murders? Like, you know how many murders is two murders? You know how hard it is to kill a motherfucker out here in these streets? And Bond tell a motherfucker, you ain't no killer. You only got two bodies. What? Oh, <laughs> Benny, what you mean? <laughs> Fuck, I thought that made me a killer. I thought that made him a little super killer. You got two bodies? Oh, my shorty up this rank twice. Why well, I tell you, Clinton, though, you ain't no killer, boy. You only got two bodies. Only. Is this how he think, though? B, you got to be to be there to talk like you him. You got to, he wants you to be able to count on your hand and shit. Like, how many murders you want me to have, gang, on BD? But you feel me like certain niggas, it, he know it's a respect thing. You know what I'm saying? You look at it like, all right, okay, you like me. You know what I'm saying? Or you, 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 you like, you, you do what I do. You know what I'm saying? Like, he respected Tate like that. You know what I'm saying? He respected Tate like, oh, okay. You know what I'm saying? You risk it like I risk it. You know what I'm saying? Like that. You know what I'm saying? He, he respect Tate like that. And him and Tate spent time in jail in the county together to rotate and get each other personally. They bonded and laughed and say they both, you know, just the, who they is. You know what I'm saying? They they was who they was, for. So even Vaughn, if y'all a Vaughn fan, you gotta respect Tate. Because Tate, Vaughn, love Tate. For the reasons of just straight demonic, devilish humor. King David, bro. Not gonna lie to you. Some niggas bond. I told you how Vaughn and Troy used to bond. They bond. They got like um, demonic humor. Let's take them too. They laugh about a lot of shit everybody don't laugh about. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> they said Mad Max was worse than Vaughn and Melly before he died. Man, look. I don't take shit from Max. It ain't, don't ain't get no worse than them niggas, man. It don't get no worse. You can say you was like them niggas or well, you was on their level, but you don't get worse. It don't get worse. They're like, it was them, but then it's a, oh, yeah, and they was. No. If you out here and you on that, and you, and you, and you, and you trying to be a, one of those in the streets, man, you trying to be like them. That's the highest level. Like, when you out here drilling and you get to the final boss, you get to them. They the final boss. They the final boss. And all that other shit is just other niggas on Billy. When you when out here in the streets, if we compare this street shit to the game, when you get to the final boss, when you get to the end of the game, when you get to the last fight, the last mission, the last hurdle, that's when you got to go meet. Ain't nothing going on after that on BD. You, you, you gotta, on BD, right, uh, body, you gotta fight them to flip the game. <laughs> For them. them the niggas you meet to, 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 before the credits come down and they tell you who, who made the game and who was the voice of the characters and shit. That's them, 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 them who you meet, man. <laughs> Real spirit, like, you, you, you did, that's it on BD. That's, that's them the final bosses, man. So if you acting like you was like them, you a final boss, man. You know, oh, he, no. Feel me? Y'all on here on bullshit today, y'all stay tomorrow. Do you think Tay would blow up rapping off the name he got in the hood like Ron Wilson? Yeah, 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 I think he could blow up rapping because, like, Of course he can, you know what I'm saying? All the fans like the rappers who rap what they really live. If y'all wanna go listen to a nigga who really live what they rap, go listen to Tay Savage. Really? Go listen to Tay, man, on phone him. Like, you feel me? There's a lot of niggas out here I can't vouch for, but if you wanna hear niggas rap that really did what they did and live that they live, go listen to Tay Savage, the bully, man. I ain't gonna lie to you. You 
what I'm saying? Shorty, he's, you know, he, he, he who he is, man. He gonna be these folk. And a lot of shit that happened around him made him who he is. You know what I'm saying? Like, he just, a lot of shit happened around niggas. It turned you into this certain nigga. You know, Tay was always a nigga folk. He, he was always little. You know what I'm saying? Always one of the shorter niggas in this group. The lighter niggas in this group. You know what I'm saying? Them type of niggas, bro, like, they get tough from always niggas always. How, how they get tough and how they get fucked up in the head. Them, there's a lot of niggas I know, bro, that's like, that Troy was like that. You grow up being the shortest nigga out of the group, the lightest nigga out of the group, the smallest nigga out of the group, and all of that for motherfucker constantly trained, constantly getting to people as a shorty, constantly having to defend yourself. That shit turns you into somebody that everybody don't want to deal with, bro. Because by the time you get 17, at the end of high school, in, 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 in adulthood, you start being this nigga who like, you've built all this, like, dog in you, fool. Like, you built this dog in you at that point, and you just like, now you loose, you a loose cool on be because you gonna turn all that niggas thinking they could try you, you gonna try niggas first. That's why they say short nigga syndrome, little nigga syndrome, fool. Little niggas try niggas more than anybody, bro. Because they spent their whole life being tried or their whole younger life being tried and they got themselves to a point where one nobody gonna try them. One nobody gonna play. One nobody gonna mistake them for no shorty, no little nigga, no nigga they could play with. And that's what happened to Tay. Um, BD, you spend your life the littlest nigga out your circle, the younger, the, the one with the light voice and the yeah, woo woo. And then you get to an age where, cause niggas that, 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 the niggas that's got that dog in them, even though they short a little, they ain't going. And he spent his whole life not going on BD and that shit turned him into a whole nother nigga. Now you gonna go. He gonna make you go. He gonna tweet with you. He gonna get on your ass. He gonna, he want you to know you, he want you to know he do out here. He want you to be scut on, on BD cause that's respect. They want niggas to respect who he is and what he did out here. I mean, he, he commanded on BD. He commanded on phone now. Then he did this little 10 year bid. He, he, he think he got them bitches for on BD. He think he could fight on King Thave. He come home wanna wanna fight the guys. He wanna tweak with niggas and shit. He, he on for them greatest man came home for. I was seeing him and shit, he come slide on me. My cousin was with me. We was we was oh, at, at one of our headquarters and shit. He slide on Biddy. Now this before I had lost my weight, so he like, oh yeah, you 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 fat bitch. Now he won't. He talking to me, mid conversation. He fake bust me, grab me on Biddy. Folk like he grab me. He strong as hell. Folk he wanna grab, play fight, do all this. Now he want me to show. He want to show me that he can he can fight for real. Now he think he can whoop me. Cause I'm fat, I'm, I'm a little fat, and I'm stocky and shit. He, he wanna try me on BD. So he grabbed me, strong as hell, for we done broke the bar handle, broke the bar door, them that put a hole in the wall, for them that tried to slide me through the wall, we done kicked my coffee over, all type of shit. G. Like, I, I was like, oh, okay, this nigga tell you. I tell him, like, damn, nigga, you strong as hell, man. Folks still kinda fresh out on BD, and guess what he had on him? FN. Him and my cousin got matching LFNs on King David. They, he around this bitch, he pull up, he all, damn, you got LFN, whoa, whoa, whoa. Fought him in this bitch, matching LFNs on King David. He still right out on, man, for not playing on BD. He ain't playing. On falling, he not playing. Shorty little ass, slow, for On BD and then he get to talk, he like, he talked to me and shit. I'm like, man. I'm telling him, like, we talking about old shit. I'm like, man, you know I put a bet on shit. He like, man, you don't ain't on shit no more. You 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 ain't on shit no more. You you ain't on shit no more. You ain't gonna do a shit now. I'm talking about, man. You know, he one of them niggas, he want everybody to update their resume. You want a motherfucker to be out here like we was when we was shorty when I was a little baby, when I was trying to get my feet wet in this shit for the first time. Cause that's like I told you, bro. See me, I'm I'm not gonna say I'm a regular nigga, cause I'll be selling myself short, man. Like I said, we all live that life. Some niggas just live 
breathe, sleep, eat shit that life. You know, BD, he, he, he one of them. He, he one of them. I lived it. He lived, eat, breathe, shit, sleep that life on BD. And I used to live, sleep, breathe. At one point in time, for because I was a shorty, all I wanted to do was that on BD. But all I wanted to do was that. But at a point in time in my life, see, he ain't, his point in time, his life is still going as far as how he feel about a lot of shit. You feel me? Like, as far as his mentality, okay, me, he was way smarter than he was back then. And a lot of shit that he used to do as like off impulse, he won't do that now. You know what I'm saying? We didn't have talks about that. He not as loose as he was when he was a shorty. But, oh yeah, he's still the same guy. He's still the same guy. Um, I'm probably had to leave a lot of what we talked about out just because, like, I don't know, it's just a lot. And I had to, I don't got enough time to speak on all the stories me and take out of the stories I knew about with him. On phone now, but Tay, he one of those. A lot of niggas got on. A lot of niggas had him in their circles, so they wouldn't get went on, wouldn't get tried, wouldn't get robbed or killed out of them. Like he, that's where that bully name come from, cause he really was a lot of niggas security as well. Like he was a lot of niggas security. They used to keep Tay around, so niggas wouldn't do shit to him, but they could know like, yeah. You do something to him, you might gotta deal with Tay. And that mystique in itself used to keep a lot of niggas from the shit happening to a lot of niggas, bro. You know what I'm saying? Like, it, it did. Like, a lot of niggas used to try to keep Shorty around so shit wouldn't happen to him. Shout out to Christina. Shout out to Almighty. Four times. Big Plant three times. We definitely need that 16 story that's coming soon. Reaper. I already read that. But yeah, bro. Definitely one of those. Um, been on here for almost an hour, so I'm gonna go ahead and tap out now, man. But appreciate everybody for coming through, from locking in with me and um, coming through. I'm um, gonna do either Polo G story, Dirt story, or Liberal story next, man. So make sure everybody tune in, keep y'all notifications on, subscribe and like this video, man. Thanks for coming through. See y'all soon.